day in a robotic student's life looks like so it is not only about college life uh, the studies skilling up but it's overall a combination of all the things so that includes the college life the hostel life uh, the stuff that we do like the fun part uh, chatting with friends doing nothing at some days the college festivals farewells and uh, the internship part the skilling up part all 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 the things all the aspects like many things are included in a day of a robotics engineering student make sure that you watch the video till the very end so let's get into it this video will be from my perspective because i am going to share my journey as a robotics engineering student actually currently i am not a student it's been one year that i passed out from my college but i wanted to make this video from a very long time when i was a student but at that time i was not able to manage uh, the youtube channel but yeah i will definitely share my experience so the college life was very much about the uh, skilling up because uh, first of all talking about the four years i will break down the four years uh, into like uh, two years online and two years offline see because uh, in 2020 the corona pandemic happened so that's why my first two years were online and then the two years were offline so likewise it went okay so in my first year i got into college i was really excited that i got robotics uh, engineering branch that is automation and robotics in dr dy patel institute of technology but uh, then uh, like going with the first year i realized that uh, i'm not able to do the skilling up part and also i was uh, like i i was a student like uh, i wanted to explore more i i was not a kind of a studious person from my childhood days i like to explore more okay uh, maybe uh, that might be non technical things as well and i did the same in my first year as it was corona pandemic i was having a lot of time right so uh, like i never studied because you you guys know like uh, how much we study online so that is a completely different part but uh, yeah i i was like um, i did the basic programming language stuff like learning the python language up to the object oriented programming i refer to the youtube channels i i didn't even purchase a course for that but then uh, i moved to the freelancing side part so back then i started a youtube channel for freelancing talking about freelancing video editing social media marketing graphic designing i did those things practically i got clients uh, i like practiced how to speak in front of people and all those i invested that time for myself like how to uh, do the skilling up part how to do self improvement i invested that time uh, in me so that that was really great because i i don't regret on that because i managed the technical part somewhat but i focused on the non technical part much more than the technical part in my first year during the corona pandemic so in my second year the corona pandemic was there but in the first half of the second year i focused on some of the technical part of robotics as well that is ros there i started robot operating system and it was good actually but uh, yeah uh, i got a reference from one of my friend from bits like you have to do a robotics uh, you have to do a ros workshop in bits pilani campus like online workshop i was just a participant there i didn't organize that workshop but i got to learn about ros and then uh, in the second half of the uh, college the offline college started i was really excited i will get into the college and do some activities so i joined the robotics club in the online like term only but uh, i left the robotics club when i joined offline because i was not able to manage the time for the freelancing and all those things so that was really not possible for me to manage the robotics club and my things as well so those were overlapping but in the offline i participated in some presentation competitions then i also participated in sports activities so these sports activities in college are really well you will get to explore a lot you will uh, showcase your sports skills i am good at chess i i am a international federated player so that that was really an amazing experience back then i enjoyed a lot with my friends we also played cricket and yeah so that that was one part actually a day in life of a robotics engineering student is not only a particular day but it's a combination of all the things so it's a flavored combination you know we can't only pick up one day that i am doing exercise and then i am studying and then i am skilling up and all those things that might be a, a game for a student like a student can do that but i i'm not that kind of student like i will only do those things for one day and then repeat the cycle that's not what i am see 
I did that thing but for a limited time. See, just for example, I started exercising. Uh, I, I did it for six months. Then there was one month gap. Then I did the exercise again after one month. So I'm not saying that consistency is not possible. Consistency is most important. But if you miss for two to three days, it doesn't mean that you are not consistent. You can stay consistent like four to five times a week, one or two days you can give a break for yourself. That is also possible. So customize your day as per your own nature. That's what I wanted to say. Okay. If it suits you, then go for it Else customize as per your choice. But consistency is important at the same time. If you are not consistent, you will lose the game, I guess. But I did freelancing till my fourth year consistently. I focused on my scaling up part. So coming back to the second year. So uh, back then my second year, like uh, we uh, ended the semester in the month of June itself. Uh, actually, I got a dog bite um, back then during my exam. So that's that's a different case actually. But uh, yeah, um, the dog bite me. Anyways. But <clears throat> coming to the third year, I was again excited. I got a chance to become student coordinator of EDS ISL in my college. And then I also focused on the technical part more in the uh, third year. Like I was doing the freelancing part, but during the technical part, I uh, like focused on the robot operating system part much more. And then the computer vision side as well, because I was a little bit confused on that side, but still I was exploring only not uh, really focused on one thing at in my third year but practicing some coding things uh, focusing on the non-technical skills as well like uh, picking up the phone recording my video checking if i am talking correctly or not improving my communication skills and how to speak how not to speak where to speak where not to speak all those things were uh, done by me <clears throat> and then uh, yeah that that was one thing but i will here take one pause and tell about my hostel life so uh, when I joined as a robotics uh, engineering student, I uh, like I was staying in uh, a paying guest, a hostel. So during uh, that time, the hostel life was really well because I was really active in my hostel uh, because I like to stay active with the people. I, I I was talking to the owner, to the side room mates, to the different floors of the hostel, exploring with the guys and also uh, celebrating the moments and also participating in the like different different birthdays celebrating uh, different birthdays and all those things were really great we also used to do dinner together spending some time doing bakchodi and all those things were really uh, very very uh, exciting and great i i i like i can't uh, define those things in words but those were really happy moments i must say the owner was really chill and yeah, the owner's son was also owner, but uh, he was also friendly with us. But yeah, that, that was really a great time because we, yeah, see, uh, I used to go to the college, but then I focused on the skilling up part in my third year, right? So at that time, uh, I was into the hostel more than the college, frankly speaking. Okay. So my attendance was, uh, very very less i will not say here uh, but most of my time i was in hostel but at the same time i was investing my time in skilling up okay i was doing freelancing i was skilling up i was doing side hustles so if you are a person who is not doing lectures so make sure that you do some projects you do some other activities that will benefit you okay don't just waste your time into like the things which are not useful or else invest your time so that you will get some returns out of it that is the thing i wanted to say returns not only in terms of money but returns in terms of skilling up in terms of skill development that is the main thing you have to do okay so that was about my hostel life and uh, there's much more to talk but uh, this was the only thing i wanted to mention about hostel life now coming back to the college stuff so in my third year, uh, I was not really much into the college part. Actually, I wanted to do the college activities more, but uh, like due to my freelancing activities and all those things, I was not able to participate much more in the college stuff, but uh, it was really good. And then going to the third year ending, 
I did part time uh, like job as a robotics educator at a startup. So it gave me experience of teaching. I was not really interested into teaching students and all those things. It was the worst thing I ever imagined in my life, but I had to do it. Okay, there's a saying like you have to do the worst thing in order to uh, see the best results. I guess. So I where I like got a feedback that I can teach well. The students are able to relate with me. They are, they are able to understand. So that's how I got into robot operating system. Okay. So in my fourth year, I focused more on the ROS part, on the robot operating system part. So in fourth year, generally placements start, but uh, placements uh, were like I never thought that I will do a job. But uh, definitely I prepared for the placements. But I was interested into the robotics companies only. So I made my mind. I focused on LinkedIn. and how to build linkedin profile all those things i studied the algorithm and as i was having experience in content creation previously it helped me in social media marketing how to do the seo how to write content so i just used that part and pushed my linkedin profile forward and back then i also posted about my ross content and how to do robotics engineering all those things i got some like uh, offers from the companies pre placement offers and then also the colleges approached me to take the workshops so that's how i took some workshops in engineering colleges uh starting with my college and then the other colleges then the other colleges so likewise it went and i built my profile around it at the same time i started my own podcast on youtube only uh, on this channel itself uh, where i was really interested to speak about uh, robotics things and also the student perspective is more important than the robotics perspective because students suffer a lot like what to do exactly so that was my real motive to give clarity to the students as much as i can okay because i can't provide all the information but i can try to give the correct information that's my motive the fourth year was going to complete and we got a farewell from our juniors it was really a great experience because uh, in the complete college like four years we were not able to enjoy a lot uh, because of our side hustles and some things because all of us are not able to participate in the college fests so that's one part but if you get a chance to participate in the college fests uh, in the college festivals make sure that you join because that is the only time you will get to explore the things okay if you have the time join it if you don't have it don't regret uh, you are investing your time correctly so make sure that you invest your time correctly if you are missing the college days because you will not feel the regret then okay so that's how it went so i don't feel any regret because i invested the time correctly and also uh, like talking about the farewell it was really great experience given by the juniors and we were able to enjoy a lot to some fun activities and it it was the last chance to enjoy with the friends i, I yeah so that was really great and also uh, they like there were some awards given during the farewell i got selected as uh, mr automation and robotics so that those were the games that we played and it was really fun so i enjoyed a lot and also uh, talking about the um, like these were some special days but if we talk about the general days in a life of a student or else a robotics engineering student see as i said previously a day in the life of a student or else a robotics engineering student is much more like a grind for himself or herself you have to get up you have to see what you have to do so <clears throat> i will tell my day so first of all i used to get up early in the morning then i used to brush up my teeth i used to watch my like to do list that i used to write in the night okay so that i can just wake up and see the to do list what i have to do then if i have to go to the college for important task then i used to go else i used to stay in the hostel itself okay then i used to complete my to do list on priority the task which is on priority i used to give the first preference to it and then do the next one then next and at the end of the day i used to complete the task but at the task management i used to also manage the finance part okay i am going to make a separate video for finance but how much expense i do in general that used to studied by me okay i used to analyze all those things and then also i used to focus on my freelancing part then at which time i have to skill up and then what i have to eat in the breakfast that is also cost effective and what i have to eat in the lunch uh, okay all those things and sometimes i also used to miss the breakfast in order to complete the task miss the lunch in order to complete the task 
miss the T in order to complete the task and that is how a day looks like in a robotics engineering student. In my perspective, this was my day, okay, the days differ, but uh, this was a strict day, okay. There were also some simple days, I used to get up uh, late, uh, no exercise, no work, uh, sometimes I used to feel uh, very very demotivated and what I am doing, what I am not doing correctly, I used to uh, write diary, daily, daily diary, I also have the uh, book now, but it, it sounds really crazy, but I used to write my daily stuff. Uh, and also before sleeping I used to write my finances, daily expenses, what I I make. I also have the complete expense I did in my engineering. So this was my day, like I how my strict day looks like. Okay, but as I said, it is up to you, like what your nature is, uh, that's up to you. So my nature is I can be disciplined, I can be flexible and also I am open for different opportunities as well like I I can explore that's my nature and at the same time I can be disciplined so you have to choose your day okay if you are a student but uh, this was all about a day in the life of a robotics engineering student hope you like the video and make sure that you share with your friends and let me know in the comments how your day looks like let's meet in the next video till then grow learn and explore together